I made you a very quick video today just to show you this white cloth because I'm putting it on here again, meaning my blog. Um, and I didn't want you to think I was showing you just the same stuff over and over again because I've added to it um, with buttonholes. I made two buttonholes. There's quite a small one here which is just along the edge of those buttons. I hope that's clear. I don't want to pull in too much because it might blur. But just a hand-bound buttonhole, very simple. There's broderie on glaze there and there's some of this um, like silk seer sucker. That's what's forming the lips of the buttonhole. That's there. And then there's another one up here made exactly in the same way with the broderie on glaze, like a patch. And then again, the lips are made of the, co the silk seer sucker. So that's those, okay. And I also, because I didn't know how well this would show up on, on uh, pictures, on this run of lace here, like every space between each motif, I've done a, a bullion loop, like a, almost, I, I don't know, I'm reluctant to say jewel, but almost like a little dangly chain thing between each of these um, motifs on this lace. And there's also a run of them over here by the buttons. So that was finished last night, there, that row there of bullion loops. They've got French knots at the top just to add a bit more body. And then I also did um, just a tiny row of cross stitch there. So that was just to give you a, a look at what I'd actually done progress wise last night. And I didn't want you to think I was just getting the same thing out and photographing it from a different angle. But the buttonholes are new. So there's one there, okay, and there's one there. Uh, that's where they live in relation to each other. So I just wanted to show you that on camera. Evidence, evidence. I don't want you to think I'm not doing anything. 